All right, so today we're making steak with mushroom cream sauce. Very heavy bag, good sign. This would be the beef. Let's see what we got. Ingredients. All right, step one, a whole lot of prep in this one. We're gonna dice up all our vegetables and we've got the oven preheated to about 425 and we've moved the rack position up to the top position. Here we go. We're gonna cut our carrots diagonally. Cut our potatoes in small little quarters. Then we'll slice some mushrooms. Remove any ugly bits. separate process. Now we're going to separate the green onions, whites from the green. Okay, remove the tops here, wilted. Mess it up. Remove the skin. Add the carrots to the other side. Yeah, salt and pepper. And to the potatoes, we add our fry seasoning. We're going to bake these for about 20 to 25 minutes in the top rack position. We're going to get our mushrooms going. First, we'll add a little bit of oil, medium high heat. Get our butter ready. One tablespoon. Add our mushrooms. Let that cook for about five to seven minutes. Salt and pepper. So our mushrooms are about done. Now we can add our steak here. We're going to transfer our mushrooms for later. We cook the steak in the same pan we took the mushrooms in. Salt and pepper. for about five minutes. Our steaks are about medium rare. So we're going to heat. We use the same pan to cook our mushroom sauce. When we put these steaks on a plate, we collect the juice for our sauce. So I save a little bit of oil for the sauce. You can add a little bit of butter, one tablespoon, our garlic, and our green onion whites. Mm 
which is about 30 seconds worth of cooking here. And we're gonna add our beef stock. Pour some rubber water. Let's go ahead and add our mushrooms. Flavorings from the steaks here. Just a little bit. So after a few minutes have elapsed, remove this from heat and add in our sour cream. Thicken that sauce up. Very nice and all in one pan. Yeah, we'll go ahead and carve up our meats against the grain. Nice and juicy. Medium rare. Heather. And the plate. More salt and pepper. And to the steaks, we can add our sauce. Nice and thick now. Wow, it smells delicious. Our garnish. Last of the green onion. One more take. Beautiful. Look at that portion size. Time to eat. So I actually ate this already and of course it was awesome. Uh, the steak was very tender and it was not a big steak but when you had the mushrooms and everything it was quite fulfilling. Uh, the potatoes were of course delicious and the carrots were perfectly cooked. It was a very good choice of meat and the sauce for the steak kind of tastes like a Swedish meatball sauce or something, the sour cream and it really added the perfect touch. So this is a great little dish, it's kind of a staple.